Hello everyone and welcome. Oh, fucking hell, not him again. My name is Matt, welcome back to the shop. And uh, some videos in the past we've been doing, um, or I've been showing you topics based on the misinformation that uh, the YouTubes and the internet can give you. So, just putting these to one side for a second, um, we've done the black intercooler myth, um, you know, from the Mighty Car Mods guys. Like I say, that wasn't digging at them. They, they said it's backyard science, it's just a fucking video. Yeah, that kind of stuff. What I wanted to say is that was a very good example of just say someone could use that maliciously to sell a product or whatever. Um, I did the whole Jason from Engineering Explained when he puts oil in a cylinder, sprays it with a bottle and goes, look at the fuel washing it off, when in reality that's nowhere near the volume of fuel and the oil's cold and the engine's cold and so on and so on and so on. That kind of stuff. Um, and unfortunately, we're back at Jason with another good example um, of this is an argument I kind of had the backwards and forwards with Jason, and this is engines running lean. Now, we're not going to go through that because I went through that whole engines burning lean stuff. What matters is that not only... He, he, he draws a graph. Let me grab that temperatures as you change that air fuel ratio and so here we just have a simple plot where we have temperature plotted on the left and then here on the bottom we have the air fuel ratio ranging from about 10 which would be very rich to 20 which would be extremely lean and so there in the center about 14.7 to 1 or just 15 to 1 we've got our ideal air fuel ratio and as you can see uh, based on this chart which of course I've drawn uh, but it is somewhat accurate uh, but it is somewhat accurate uh, but it is somewhat accurate somewhat accurate it, uh, but it is somewhat grab my uh, fluorescent board and my pens they're just in there I'm probably gonna knock the camera oh I didn't I don't think I did anyway so he draws this graph right and then he goes oh NOX like this and he goes you know, this is 14.7 uh, basically. Uh, but it is somewhat accurate. And he says, this is 10, this is 20. You know, calls that stoichiometric and says, oh, you know, the temperature drops like this. So this one is T and this one is NOXs. He doesn't actually write NOXs. Just, oh, he does, he does write NOXs. He's got it on the screen. Blah, 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 blah. And he goes on about... Uh, lean, lean, it literally says next to it, I'm going to copy it, it says lean uh, reduces, it's got horrible writing, reduces uh, temp, right? And when you put something like this over here, written like that, temperatures as you change that air fuel ratio. And so here we just have a simple plot where we have temperature. You're trying to say something um, very obvious, you know what I mean? And is put running lean equals temperatures, all this kind of stuff. It then goes and says all sorts against it. And it's this graph that's the problem. And he even says in his clip, he says this. Now, why does an engine running rich or running lean cause combustion temperatures to drop? Any idiot can draw a graph and say, here it is, this is why it's true. But it's more important to understand, is that actually true and why is it true? Uh, but it is somewhat accurate. Any idiot can do this. Any idiot can just draw a graph and this is the most important thing. So not only has he drawn the graph, made a conclusion from it, but then he's also said, why believe me, you've got to understand the signs behind it, and then fucking tragically fucks it up. <laughs> so, this is the Bible. This is the Internal Combustion Engine Fundamentals. This is a heavy book, not only in gravitational potential, it is also a heavy book to read through, right? It, it, yeah, if you don't like graphs, tables, and, and equations, then run away. Um, but there's some heavy stuff in this. Excellent book. Any anyway, Rod. So, um, what it says here, and I might actually, I will take a picture of it, um, is it has uh, the equivalence ratio. So this is basically 
rich and lean kind of thing. You know what I mean? Uh, the it's a, it's lambda really. I haven't been through a video explaining exactly what that is, but it doesn't matter because above at the top it explains lean and rich, stoichiometric, twenty, and blah 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 blah. And as you can see, or as I can see from the the drawings, but you can see in here hopefully. Let's see if we can do it actually. Nice zoom. I'd like to not put the picture up. I'd like to put the actual book up so you can see it's the book. Zoom because then you know I'm not fiddling with the bloody drawing or anything. Um, I need a pointer, that'll do. Screwdriver, fucking best pointers in the world. So, what you can see is you can see that this left hand side of this table is the lean side, there, and this is the rich. And as you can see there's two lines here for NO, NO, NOs, nitrogen oxides, um, hydrocarbons, COs, carbon oxides, just full stop. This is quite broad. And what it's saying here is, look, is that you can see this broad hydrocarbon splurge here. And the reason why it splurges out is because you're so lean that you don't burn a lot of fuel and it just pisses out. Regardless, um, as you can see, these are, this is like a, a range, right? So a min and max. That's why there's a, a top and bottom line. But as you can see, the peak there and the peak there is on the lean side. And... We're at 15%, 15 air fuel rich mixture there. So the peaks are getting on for 16, 15 and a half, which is really quite rich, uh, lean, sorry, really quite lean. Yes, you can get a lot more ridiculous, up to 20 and stuff, but you know, not for petrols and stuff like that. So we've got that, and then if you flick over to this page, a bit more clearer because we're just looking at the oxides here, this bit here, you can see the air fuel mixture ratio there, and if we oh, have I got anything flatter than that. Oh we'll talk about organization. It's because I don't know what I'm going to say. Oh there's a ruler. That'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? Actually having a, a straight edge. So we've got markers at the top, which is wonderful. So we can see 15 to 15 there. We can see that this is this is rich. On this side, it's lean on this side. If we go 15 to that marker there, 15 to that marker there, you can see that NO and NO2s, so in between here is the oxides, you can see at 15 to 1, the peaks are starting at 15 to 1. Not 14.7, which is over here, but 15 to 1. These NOXs are this side, on the lean side of things. Right? And then it goes on, actually, I wasn't going to read all this shit, but it literally goes on to explain in all this text why right and there's there's just loads of data in this they even give you the actual theoretical well, you can't see anything actually give you a theoretical and the actual test points and explain in this book at great detail where these things come from and the equations that go with them but let's just not trust one book because that idiot might have got his sources wrong let's have a look at another book <laughs> so this is um Vehicle and engine technology. So this is an entire section on exhaust cast composition. And it goes to great lengths to explain that. What each of these are. Oxides of nitrogen at the bottom. Oxides of nitrogen are the product of combustion and are formed when nitrogen combines at high combustion temperatures. The first stage of oxidation is a colourless, odourless and tasteless gas. And further oxygen exposure it changes to a reddish brown colour. The latter is poisonous, penetrating odour, blah, 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 blah. Goes through the whole thing, how the catalytic converters work. But we've got a nice big graph here. Let's do zoom. Right, nice big one here. We've got the same kind of thing. We've got um, our air fuel ratio by mass. And as you can see, there's a stoichiometric line there, like the dotted line, if you can make that out. And as you can clearly see in this, the NOXs, which is this one, as you can see, the peak is around about, like them other ones, 16 to 1. Right, much bigger graph. 15.5 to 16 to 1. That is well on the lean side of mixtures, right? Well on the lean side. When you're fucking around, it is lean. So when I did my videos in the past saying stuff like lean, running lean makes your engine run hotter. In other words, if your engine is running hotter, one of the things to check, apart from an inadequate cooling system, i.e. it's leaking, 
one of the things to check is your air fuel mixture. Now your air fuel mixture can change because there's an air leak somewhere. Literally it's leaking more air in, there's more air in there diluting the fuel down. It doesn't necessarily mean your injectors or your carbs fucked. But as you can see, it's clearly, we've got this entire, you know, from stoichiometric, it just goes up. And as it's been said before, nitrous oxide, and in these other books and in chemistry books, nit nitrous oxide production increases with combustion or just any kind of you know, just increased temperatures um for even it, there's even boiler books you know boiler books about your house um boiler for your hot water and stuff like that about all these emissions and stuff you know what i mean because again they're just using this hydrates butane and stuff like that propane and what have you still hydrocarbons and these nox's and all these other gases you know um cam ca uh, co2 cam dioxide again that peaks from stoichiometric and hangs around because these are oxygen and other elements that have to combine. Now, what does all this mean? Any idiot can draw a graph. It just means that the people who do these videos have to make sure that they're, what they are saying is correct, right? And this whole video series, this whole video by Jason is called Why Lean Engines Do Not run hot that's a massive one-sided statement and then it says myth busted and in the description it says why do engines running lean burn hot well actually they don't wow you know what i mean because you can clearly see there's a correlation between temperatures and nitrous oxide production get a chemistry book and have a look it's not just singularly just to engines, stuff like that. But you can also see there's not many plots that actually show you engine temperature versus uh, the leanness. Like Jason says in his own videos, one of the ways to basically a sneaky peeky look into how an engine is doing internally, um, you know, is to do with the nitro the measure the nitro nit oxides of nitrogen. They look at them. Uh, and and not, that is after that I went into the video of why, what makes the actual difference? Why does running lean mean the engine just momentarily gets a bit hotter as you go through the lean process? As you lean out the mixture more and more, it peaks and then it starts to fall back off again. You know what I mean? But then when you start to get to then fall back off again, your engine that's now running lean is probably choking out and not running properly. So there's this correlation between getting hotter and hotter even though you're going past a stoichiometric. Hence why stoichiometric is important, you know what I mean? Um, and it helps you diagnose problems and stuff. So it's not just, this is not just a theoretical shaking graphs at each other and stuff like that. Like I said to people in the previous videos, if you fucked around with two strokes when you were younger, like I did, you'll, you, you definitely know, as soon as you start running lean, all sorts of mannerisms of stuff starts to go shit. You know what I mean? And it's, and Jason's done other videos about quenching and about how fuel cools the internal internal components. Now, this has got nothing to do with combustion. The actual combust, the energy liberated through a rapid oxidization of a hydrocarbon. It's got nothing to do with that. This has got to do with your, your the repeated cycles and the heat flux. So basically, how fast the heat leaves the engine. And there's an equilibrium. There's a balance. But if you start to lean out mixtures, not only do they get hotter. Uh, not only the combustion doesn't get hotter, you're reducing the amount of fuel. It's the amount of fuel you have to act as a coolant, an internal coolant. Someone asked me the other day, when dragsters use nitro, they don't have coolant. You know, when they use nitro, they don't have coolant. They don't have any water passages. A lot of these guys back in the day to stiffen up the box used to fill the blocks with concrete, stuff like that. Um, but they don't have coolant. They don't have any kind of water pump. They don't have coolant. They don't have radiators. And he's like, why? And I was like, because two reasons. They use so much fuel because of the air fuel mixture ratios you can get away with with nitro. They run so much fuel and it has a latent heat evaporation that's really quite high. So when it evaporates, it takes a lot of fucking heat with it, like shitloads. In other, end, in other words, the engine still gets hot. It's just cooled enough by its own fuel. Um to its equilibrium point is below the danger point for the materials of the engine, like the pistons and stuff like that, and the exhaust valves and so on. Hope that makes sense. In summary, um, I just want to make sure I quickly cover this, is I've kind of covered this before in another video. This is another example of you can draw graphs 
I did. You know what I mean? You can draw graphs. It doesn't have to be without, you know, it doesn't mean that drawings are void. What it means is, you know, fucking pen. I'm shouting out the pen. It means that when you did this drawing, 14.7, you change this and you go, ah, this is 12 and this is 18, just say, something like that, right? And then what you do is you go nitrous oxides, you know, it's, it's like that. That's what you need to do. You need to know NOXs. It doesn't matter even if the units are right. What it matters is, you know, am I getting... And the temperature does that. You know, if I do that, that, even though it's cartoonish, and even though the units don't have to be right, you're getting the point across. And the point across is if you go leaner, it gets hotter. Even if it's just momentarily, you know, even if you come down here and say, well, this is 16 to 1, that kind of thing. You know what I mean? It doesn't mean you can't do cartoon drawings, you can't do this, that, that. When you're arguing a point that is fundamentally wrong, and it's not just wrong in theory, it's wrong in practice. You know, and if you look at the video, the video has 213,000 views to date, has 6,700 likes, and only 250 thumbs down. That's what I'm kind of dealing with when people ask me these questions all the time, is that I'm dealing with... Um, not only have people got it wrong, and it's usually intuition. Oh, I thought it would be that. I thought that if you, you know, reduce the fuel, the temperature drop away. That's not a stupid thing to think. The fact is, in reality, it's, it's more complicated than that. But then you've got someone releasing a video that's saying it doesn't happen this way, and the fucking video's still up, and it's still spreading around. Let me just have a look very quickly while I've got you here. When was the, 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 the newest comment? Six days ago. Very good video, but I have some remarks. I understand that explaining the material, not from engineering, has told some misconceptions. Finch, change, blah, 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 blah. This guy says an awful lot of the pretty much the same thing. Um, but two weeks ago, three weeks ago, four weeks ago, people are saying, you know, it's a very good video. Uh, like I said, this guy does have some remarks. I ain't got all day to read through it. Um... But, you know, people are still watching this. You know what I mean? People are still watching this and still thumbs up in it. Great video. You know what I mean? It's, you know, it's like, it's just the way it goes. What's it say? Sorry, this is a guy called Alex Chong. Sorry, normally like these videos, but calling bullshit on this one. Running link causes pistons and valves to melt. You are fucking bang on, Alex. Well done. Give yourself a fucking biscuit. All right? The fact of the matter is, is that the video remains. It's meant to be myth busted. You are fucking directly exacerbating the myth. Because you have... How many subscribers has the bastard got? 2.93 million subscribers. You're perpetuating the myths. You need a kick in the dick, Jason. Just a fucking good run-up kick. Right? <laughs> Hope that makes sense. And I'll see you in a bit. Any idiot can draw a graph, uh, but it is somewhat accurate.